what's up everybody, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Demon Souls. We um, kind of still look like an absolute mad woman, but um, yeah, we last time we kind of swapped weapons and loadout completely. We went over to the Ragged Set and a Battle Axe. So that seems fitting since we're going uh, underground, so the Halberd wouldn't be really handy in like the close quarters that we're gonna go into because today we're gonna be heading into the Archstone of the Digger King. And the first area here, well, the main area is called Stone Fang Tunnel and the first uh, Archstone that we can travel to, well, the, yeah, the Archstone is the Smitting Grounds, a city of miners who maintained the giant tunnel. Long ago, the efforts of the hard-headed burrowers allowed Boletarian soldiers to carry out their work. But now, dispossessed of their souls, they have no thought of their own and work in silence, tirelessly, without purpose. So yeah, we're heading into a place with uh, a bunch of zombie miners, basically. And no cinematic this time, so we're just popping in. And yeah, this place looks very familiar, but of course a lot more beautiful. And there's like a a city over there, a city in, under construction. That is interesting. I never realized there was a city in the distance there. So yeah, we'll kind of start out in this lower area and then when we get up, we... Oh yeah, there's a crystal lizard right here. So we might actually be able to grab it. That's uh, doing wheel. And there we go. Oh, slash it, slash this to die. There we go. Yeah, so these things are always very hard to kill. But uh, they give you Hearthstone shards, so that's really nice. Um, I think the actual way forward is over there into the building. But this, this looks lovely. There's even some buildings up top. And there's like this elevator structure here as well. But we won't be able to go in there if I recall correctly. Because again, I've played this like... 12 years ago <laughs> and uh, my memory isn't what it used to be about this game so there's an item over here and then the camera even zooms out a little bit yeah that that carriage got stuck there uh, or the, the bridge might have actually collapsed because there's a wheel over here as well and if you go a bit further there's actually like um, dead horses over here or at least one dead horse doesn't really look good uh, hence, hence it being dead. Now we have this guy. There's somebody sitting over here, apparently. <laughs> Hello there. Souls, souls. I trade fine goods for souls. Oh, do you? The filthy man. That is... Oh, poor man. Immediately calling him filthy. That is not nice. Let's talk to him first. Our little town. <laughs> it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone and don't bother with old folk like me. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> I always knew there was a god. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me. Okay, so he's just out of the way of the miners and so they won't be bothering him either. And it looks like... Yeah, there's a, a miner over there already, like, tossing rocks down below. I don't know what purpose it should serve, <laughs> aside from trying to keep people out of the way, I suppose, or getting rid of rubble, but it's a weird thing to do. Let's talk to him again. Have you heard about sparkling lizards? Not easy to catch, but they've got some fine stones. And I know where one of their nests is. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't give it away. <laughs> I mean, even if we knew where one of the nests were, I'd... I don't think it would be able to kill more than one of them. Uh, do you have anything else to say? I always knew there was no, no, yeah, that's just the same. I'm gonna quickly look at his inventory. I don't know what he actually sells. Ooh, he, shall, he sells uh, hearthstone and sharpstone shards. That is hard to say, apparently. So, and a pickaxe, obviously, a pickaxe. Okay, no need to, to play, talk to him. You've got to be. Okay. Don't agree. <laughs> Well, to play, you got to pay. That's a, that's a nice tagline. And there's an area over here as well. But, yeah, that's the elevator. So we don't... Uh, we're not able to use the elevator just yet. And you can hear somebody um, hammering away. And we know there's actually supposed to be a second blacksmith um, over here. Because Baldwin talk, told us about him. Aha, and there they go. They start to... Uh, 
Pulls down builders in twofold now. And there he goes. And there he goes. And I think I can run over now. Oh, there's an item on the side there. And we're in. Okay. First challenge done. But now I have no idea because I I vaguely remember this level, but it's so long ago. Is there anything here? Oh, this is another elevator. Okay. Might be able to enable some shortcuts later on, but right now we're just gonna try and make our way forwards. You can see a few miners already, and I don't think these guys are necessarily hostile. Because they're just, as the filthy man said, they're just uh, mining their own business. M mining their own business. I mean, I can kill them. Oof. That was a horrible animation. Ooh, these guys are actually pretty tough. Um. Oh. These guys are really tough. Um. I don't remember these guys being this tough, but there we go. Let's just slowly hack away at these guys. Who actually do sweeps with the R2? Ooh. It was one of them. Ah, one of them has a pickaxe. That's why. I don't seem to be hitting the other ones anymore. There we go. There we go. Ow. They don't, they don't actually do that much damage if they just punch. There we go. And we can mash up this guy. Ow. And he just hit me as well. So let's just... Let's just kill him. These guys take a whack. Jesus. I mean, I know I've stepped down from the halberd in firepower, but damn... That was a, a big difference. Oh, and I forgot about something. I need to go back to the Nexus. Give me a second. And I'm really glad I remembered because I forgot to do something. Something that I told you guys to do last time. And I didn't do because right now we're still in um, body form. So we still have our full health bar. And that of course risks us if we die in the world. That lowers our world tendency. And I don't want to have that happen. So that's... Uh, Let's commit suicide. I don't want to be careful that I don't hit anybody on the way down, but there we go. Should be fine. Ooh, right next to the lady. Made in black. Hi. There we go. Back in soul form. There we go. Because if... Yeah, might as well be a good time to talk about uh, world tendency. Because there's more than just those few events that are affected by world tendency. Um, if your world tendency goes up towards white, so remember that goes up to plus three every time you kill a boss, you go one higher up to plus three as a maximum, you actually um, increase, I think it's increase the attack damage that you have. But if you go down towards black world tendency, you actually um, take more damage because the enemies do more damage. And I think you even have less health as well. Because right now we have 75%, but I think depending on the world you go into, that might actually even be better. But let's go back to Stonefang Tunnel. So I don't think I need to kill these guys, maybe just the guy with the pickaxe, but if, even him, I don't think he goes... Oh, he does. He does. But can you move back? I don't know if these guys are now gonna... They don't seem to mind just yet. There we go. So it takes a bit of stamina management, but eventually he goes down. He only... Gives you four souls, by the way. I mean, I know this is supposed to be the first world of this, uh, the first stage of this area, but ooh, wow. This place looks amazing in the remake. And I see one of the fat officials up there already. Are these guys hostile? I don't think they are. Just want to be careful. Don't want to be attacking every single enemy if I don't have to. I think for now. Ooh! Doggos! Doggos! Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Ooh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There we go. And there's one over here. There we go. Kinda got surprised by these guys. 
There we go. Okay. Dogs. I don't like these dogs. <laughs> They're really aggressive and I don't think that any of those guys now start being active. No, they don't. Okay, so let's move on. And even that wandering guy didn't seem to mind too much, so... Let's head a little bit deeper. So the fat official is yelling at me. Because of course we're new. I think he might actually start throwing fireballs, but I don't know if he... Oh, he can! He, he definitely can hit us. Ooh! There we go. So he can toss a fireball with magic. There we go. And these guys are actually not that much of a threat if you can avoid their attacks. So that's just a fireball. So let's just whack away at him. There we go. And this guy drops full moon grass. Fair enough, and get a few items over here. Hearthstone chunk and a sharpstone chunk. And a clear stone shard. I actually don't know what that does. Capable of fortifying a broad variety of weapons. Used to craft quality weapons that demand both strength and dexterity to wield properly. Weapons can be reinforced by clear stones up to level 5. Okay, fair enough I suppose. Probably matches a certain type of weapon. Wait a second. Why isn't there... A way forward, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so there was, there is a way forward, but it's over here on the right. We don't even need to fight these guys for that. Was there an item over here? Ah, there was an item up there, but can't really reach that just yet. So let's move on. Oh, hi, hi, you dick. Oh, wow, he doesn't, he doesn't care about getting hit. That was, I whacked him in the face while he was swinging and he didn't care. So I probably should keep my shield up. And I'm back to it. There we go. Yep. Okay, and I should probably heal up. Yeah, my healing items aren't doing that well. Oh, there's another one. So two hands. And then I can whack him four times. Ooh, there's another one. There's another one. He missed me, but... Oh, he hit me through the wall. That was bullshit. Kind of blocked with the axe there, that was... There we go. And a backstab. But a backstab is only, well, like 30% of their health, which is not a lot. I feel like I might have mis-upgraded uh, myself here. Because this is not doing much. There we go. Down he goes. Maybe I should swim, swap back over to the halberd, because... Uh, I'm not really outputting much damage here. Okay, so kill those three guys in this little tunnel. Should probably be careful about corners then. Okay, nobody there, so let's just grab the item. And it's more Crescent Moon Crass. <laughs> Can definitely use that. I'm gonna nibble on another one because that actually doesn't heal up that much anymore either. Hmm. Seems like the noises are coming from upstairs and there's another item at the other side. So as I told you guys, it's um, very, very close quarters. I'm gonna actually take a look around the corner first. Nothing there. And then we can grab this. And it's a pickaxe. There we go. We didn't need to even need to buy a pickaxe. We got one from this corpse. And then it sounds like we're getting into a more open area. But that fat official is up there. So you can still throw fireballs at us. So we're just going to let that boss, well we're not going to let that boss, I'm going to kill him in a minute, but... Oh, that was a trap, that was a trap, okay, never mind. Are there guys that are mad at me here? Doesn't seem like it, now we're at that upper area by the way. That was nasty. Doesn't seem like there's too many hostile dudes here, that guy might be hostile. But other than that... Oh, there we go. There we go. He goes down. I don't think the fat official can hit me from over there, but... There's another little bridge here. That's not going to help me either, is it? And I can't really see which part of it is going to drop down. Um, do these guys mind that I'm going to take this item from them? Blah. We got two sharpening stones, so that's something I can use to... Uh, 
repair my equipment. I know this. Welcome to the safe place. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it. So he's gonna toss fireballs at me, but that's fine. Is there a door over here? Ooh, there's a lever over here. Okay, let's pull that. And that opens up a gate over there. But, I mean, they still have Fat Official right above me now. So, let's dodge another fireball. That's, yeah, that's gonna hit the wall. We could go up now, but so this. Can I actually walk across that beam? I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna dodge this next fire. Ooh, wow, that actually curved a little bit. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, let's heal, 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 heal. Let's heal again. Let's heal again. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Why do I still get hit like ah? It's combustion. That's why. There we go. There we go. And I said these guys were not threat. He just went through a bunch of my healing items there. He's rubbing his belly. Ooh, there we go. I don't care. Oh, and he goes down. I need that guy. Okay. Plunging attack. There we go. And he's down. And he gives us, ooh, the official's gloves. Is that going to be better armor? I should probably check. So officials gloves? No. It is most definitely worse, but of course it also weighs a lot less. It actually weighs less and is less protective than the old ragged gloves. So this provides more protection than this. That doesn't seem right, but fair enough. It actually weighs a lot less than the... Uh, the Mirrodin gauntlets. I wonder if I can... Yeah, it's 10 points of armor. Probably shouldn't be swapping over. So just as a note to myself, there are no plunging attacks in Demon Souls. So I couldn't really plunge down on the fat official to kill him that way. I just did a little bit of damage because I landed on top of him. I'm just going to slowly walk over here again because I want that item. Don't know what it is, but I definitely want that item. There we go. We get a renowned hero soul. So that's probably a lot more souls than the other ones that we got. And then we can move even higher, and that should, uh, should, probably should get my shield up. Yeah, so now we can go down this path and through the gate that we just opened. And there we get another warrior soul. And since we killed the fat official over there, we don't need to worry about getting blasted with fireballs. And we can just stroll on over through our first fog gate of the area. There we go. So our goal is supposedly to turn back the power... So we can get, well, use those elevators that we've been seeing around. And there's actually, ooh, there's like a hidden little area over here. But nothing to do here. Uh, I can see, definitely see the fire lizard on the wall there. I don't remember if I need to do anything with these guys. Ah, they just dropped down. Okay, fair enough. There we go. I don't know if these guys explode. They look like they might. No, okay. So that is a fire lizard, a meltstone shard. Unique ore that can melt all others, undoing reinforcements and restoring a weapon to its original state. Ah, that actually makes sense. Containing an intense heat. So there's clearly this big water wheel that's at least providing some momentum to everything else. Because there's a lot of things moving. Does that guy actually drop down here or not? And I think, if I recall correctly, we need to divert the current of the water to actually make the elevators outside work instead of, I don't know what it's doing at the moment. So let's grab that, some more half moon grass, which is great because I lost a, a bit through that uh, fat official a while back. Then, is this the furnace room? Because I sort of remember like a big furnace room. Yeah, this thing. Yes, and I think there are a lot of fire lizards in there. And there's a lot of miners over there with hot pokers. Yeah, okay. A lot of fire lizards. This is probably not a good idea, but here we go. 
There we go. We can grab this elixir and then this guy. Ooh, they're all gonna drop down. I am on fire. I don't know why, but I'm on fire. There we go. Slowly, slowly killing them. They actually, did they leave? Like, there we go. Need to be quick enough because I think they have like, yeah, a short range fire breath attack or something. There we go. Is there another one? Oh, there's another one inside of the furnace, but I'm guessing I can't kill those two actually. I can grab the item over here, a dragonstone shard and another meltstone shard, but I think that might have been a drop from the fire lizard itself. Okay. That was alright. The dragonstone. I want to check out that dragonstone shard though. Shard of dragonstone found floating in lava. Reinforces straight swords, axes, hammers and the like. Dragonstones imbued weapons with fire. Weapons can be reinforced by dragonstones up to level 5. Okay, so that's for fire upgrades. Now these guys probably should take on um, one by one. Aha! Ah, that's probably what the whole water current is supposed to do. I need to get rid of the lava down here. So the only way I can actually go is this way. Hello? Can only one of you come over here? Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's good. Come over here. Just into a wide open area so I can roll around you a little bit. One, two, three. There we go. Just enough stamina to kill him in a backstab and two combos. Now, next guy. And there goes the third one. Don't need to show you every single one of these. And I think that's the shortcut. I mean, shortcut is a bit double here. Because we need to go through a tunnel of guys. But are these guys hostile? Don't... Are they? Doesn't seem like they are. They're busy hammering away. And I can actually move past them without any trouble. None of them turned around? No, okay. So that means, if I'm not mistaken, this is the area. So now we're up top to where we started from. So down there is where those rock guys are throwing rocks down. And then we get another hero soul. But if we turn around... Yeah, so there's another one of those cauldrons. I think it's down here, right? Yeah, that's a staircase. Well, not really a staircase. A ramp down. And if we turn that crank, there we go, turn the handle, we enable the elevator right next to the filthy man. I'm not going to ride it just yet, we'll do that later on, but that should lead us to that older blacksmith. Now, that's not the road that we're going towards, we're going to just go through the tunnels again. And if we don't need to kill anyone, we're not going to. We've learned that lesson. And now we can go over here and we go back into a very, very small hallway. So definitely need to keep our shield up. There's a second one actually coming around. <laughs> Trying to kill them one by one, but... Oh, these guys are really persistent. I mean, it makes sense. They've been working hard in these tunnels and they must have rock hard skin from working with stone all the, all the time, but still, it's really hard on my axe. And there we go. And we get into what seems to be like, yeah, a furnace room. Some more of these melting uh, furnaces, smelting furnaces, where they probably boil down the rocks into metal pieces and then turn them into weapons. So there's two more guys over here. Not exactly sure, because I hear like voices behind me as well. There we go. Oh wow, okay. Again, he doesn't care about getting hit. I think, is that his? Ah, there we go. I'm gonna try not to hit that other guy. And we'll pass, and then a backstab. Still not enough to kill him. Really, really tough. Really, really tough, these guys. There we go. There we go, but I do love the feel of the axe. I'm not too, uh, too mad about trying this thing out. Um, can I actually just pass this guy without yeah, angering him? There we go, more. Ooh, that's a large, a large hearthstone shard. Alright, so that's between normal shards and 
chunks, I suppose, because we got a few chunks already as well. But well, look at this place, the lighting and the orange smoke, it's really, really nicely done. I'm guessing... Aha, so now we're right above the water wheel, so we should be getting closer to a way to crack that open. This seems like a trap. This seems like a trap. I can fall? I can't fall down, actually. If this breaks, I'm actually all the way down. And I don't think I'm going to survive that fall. I don't want to risk this. Do I, do I want to risk this? Um, there's an area above, but yeah, if you can't go back, yeah, ooh, yeah, okay. Um, now, now what? So we do get a bunch of souls here. It seems like this was a, ooh, a great club. That might be, damn, um, so I can go down here, but now I have no idea. Can I just drop down completely? That's going to hurt, isn't it? That is going to hurt. I can probably drop down on this spike to drop down here yeah, just a little bit and reduce the... the oh, damn, the height. Um, I might actually, just really, really quickly, I think this might actually help. Because I think fall damage is calculated based on what you're carrying. So, there we go. Ah, there we go. Barely any fall damage. That was actually... Cool. I don't know if, if that would have been worse with my armor on, but there you have it. So the Great Club, by the way, does 100 damage, is blunt damage, um, and weighs like 5 pounds. And breaks rather easily. I'm actually checking up, but it has A scaling with strength, which means that it's 139 compared to 121 from the Halberd. So I forgot about that, but we need to really to keep an eye out on those... Uh, Scaling bonuses as well, because the club actually does quite a bit of damage. So there we go, armored back up, and we just need to make our way back up again. So, back to where we were. Um, I should probably keep my shield up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember this, this bit. So there's a bunch of guys here. And they're going to be tossing rocks at me. Yeah. I don't know if their buddies actually get hit by the rocks as well. Okay, don't roll off. Don't roll off. Definitely don't roll off. I don't know if they actually get... It doesn't look like they get hit by the debris. Because there was definitely some debris there, and I don't think they got hit by it. There's a lot of dudes down there. Is there a way for me? So there's water up there, clearly, and it's being fed from... I don't know from where, but probably from higher up. And that goes into the wheel, so how can we... We probably can't interact with that just yet. So I'm gonna slowly make my way through these guys. Probably need to back up just a little bit, because I don't have any ranged attacks at the moment, so I'm just gonna have to lure them over. They do get hit by the rocks, apparently. And that should be the end of that one. There we go. Okay, and that one goes all the way down, so I probably don't need to worry about him anymore. Unless he makes his way all the way back up. That would be impressive. I'm gonna yeah, stand out of the way a little bit, because they throw those rocks pretty far, actually. And down again. I think there's one more left. And there goes the final one. Yeah, he, uh, yeah he's not gonna survive that. There we go. And we actually got... A Hearthstone shard from these guys. You can technically farm that from these guys. I don't know what the rate is, because I feel like I uh, killed a lot of them by now, and that's the first one that actually dropped something. Steel shield. So that is a... Ooh, that is a heavy shield. So double the weight of what I'm currently using. It is more durable. And I actually don't really know how shields work, in the sense that what is... Why would this be better than my... Heater shield. I'm assuming so simple in construction and aptly robust. It looks cooler, but it just has the same physical defense. So against physical damage, 100. Ah, and the guard break is higher, so that's probably it. So yeah, it has a higher guard break. The rest is actually the same. The magical and fire defense is exactly the same. So, I'm, I'm going to stick with the Heater Shield right now, but it seems more like a cosmetic 
thing than anything else. Anything on the side here. Because there was nothing... Oh, wow. There was nothing over there, right? No. I could... Ah, so this is the shortcut that we opened up before. So that's the elevator. But we can't actually go up. I can still hear the fire lizards. I think there's a few on the tower. Yeah, on the tower over there. We're actually heading that way. So I, I'm guessing if they jump on top of me, that's also bad. There we go. I'm getting hit by fire damage. I think just from getting too close. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, if you touch these guys, you're actually set on fire. Ooh, wow. I might actually go back to the halberd for this, because the halberd actually has a bit more if I quickly swap over. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. That was... That was nasty. Wild wolf all of a sudden. So let's just heal that off. And then I can... There we go. Clean up the uh, the wolf as well. That was unexpected. And I missed, of course. Of course I missed. And I can't roll anymore because the halberd is heavy. There we go. Just try to keep my distance. Use the range. And I lost half my health items. Oh, you dick. You dick. Where are these guys coming from? So another dragonstone shard. And I think there was one more fire lizard. Over here. Might as well clear them out. And then go a little bit closer. I don't just jam the attack button. Because that's my problem. I keep just... Oh, pressing the attack button. He just hit me through the wall again. That wasn't fair. Okay, so that's the outside of that tower cleared. I know now that I probably don't really need to clear out every single creature on that wall. But let's just keep the shield. Because I think there might be more wolves. Where did those wolves come from? Probably from down here. They saw me and then they slowly made their way up the catwalk. Any more wolves? No. But there is another item here. And that gives us more sharpening stones. So that is actually really handy because our weapon is degrading rather quickly. That was a noise that I made. So, um, as you might have noticed, the first two levels of Boletaria I remember it quite vividly. But this place is just a maze. I don't... I mean, if you've played this a lot before... You might have remembered this, but this is completely... Well, not completely new, but it feels new. So now we're making our way down again. We're getting closer to... Yeah, there's another guy coming closer to me. This guy seems pretty mad. I don't know why. Might have missed the strain. And... Was that a backstab? It's not a backstab. But it is a, a killing blow. Is there another one? I heard somebody... Yeah, so there's two more guys with pickaxes. And this guy dropped. Okay, another pickaxe. Okay, fair enough. And I can't carry the pickaxe anymore. So yeah, this guy is over here. I'm gonna pull him a little bit closer. I mean, this place is just one big endurance slope. You need to just kill these very tough enemies. Well, tough in the sense that they have a lot of health. And that just takes time. You need to just slowly make your way through here. And this is... Yeah, that's the lever. Okay. One, two, three, go back. And there we go. So again, I'm leaving the guys that are not bothering me alive. And we got another sharp stone shard from that. Another unknown hero soul from this guy. And then we can finally turn this thing. So that, I think, will reroute the water so the lava is gone. It pushes that up. That slows down. And then? What did that do? Ah, there we go. So the water is rerouted straight on top of the lava. And that is really good. So now we can actually move forward in that direction. This, yeah, this drops down. I'm quickly going to check if I haven't missed anything over here. Doesn't seem like it, so we might as well drop down unless there's something over there. Put my foot off the, the ledge already. So there we go. I actually need to check my bearings. Where are we now? Oh, okay, so we're not right next to the water wheel. So I need to go back up, I think. Back to where we were. And then instead of 
going over there, we can now go down into where the lava was, okay. So basically, we now don't need to do that upper area again. Because we cleared that out completely. I'm going to equip the shield because I have no idea what's down here. There shouldn't be much down here because, of course, lava. But there is a, a charred corpse with another large sharp stone shard. So that's really good for our weapon stuff. I see, Yeah, there's another message down there. It is actually pretty dark. I don't really see if there are holes in the ground and that's never good in a Souls game. It might just dump me down the down a hole and never turn around and that is sent to... Okay, so that's more half moon grass. That's actually sad that I need to leave that over here, over there. And that is a small metal gate. So I feel like there's two ways. Either I can go into what seems to be a cell? What's this? It doesn't seem to continue either. Poison resistance ring. That might actually tell us something about this guy. Crafted by Gary, known for his magical handicraft and close acquaintance with Sage Frake the Visionary. The seal depicts a skull. So that's the same yeah, as the gash resistance ring. So nothing in particular. This, yeah, so there's a, a little grating here, but I don't seem to be able to open that. So the only way, as they say, is up. I'm constantly double checking my corners now, I don't want to be surprised anymore until I get hit by a fiery boulder or something like that. So that puts us up. And there's, there's clearly more lava where that came from. Clearly more lava where that came from. Ah, we're still right next to the tower, but now we're over here. Be wary of the enemy's ranged attacks. Okay, dear friends, I will be wary because those are probably, yeah. Uh, explosive barrel so let's get out of the way because this will explode let's let him clear that now we can go over here yeah okay that's really good so now i need to close the gap there we go through the fireballs there we go he's gonna try and what the hell? Is he actually using a whip? Never realized that. His weapon is a whip. Well, now it's an axe between his shoulder blades. And there we go. You're not getting him back up. All right. Okay. Let's grab the moon grass and then we pick up whatever that was. Official's leggings. Okay. And a gold coin, apparently. We're going to have to check out those items at Stockpile Thomas. But then we have another fog gate. And as you might have noticed, this level is still going, because yeah, this is one of the, if I recall correctly, one of the bigger levels, in complexity at least. And then we get a stone of a female eyes. But I don't like this these rickety boards right above, clearly, a, a big pit of lava. I hope this doesn't crumble. Because if this crumbles, I'm gonna be mad. Because I think the next day, uh, yeah, you might already see where this is going. <laughs> Um, yeah, the ominous mine is being webbed up to the sides here. That's that's exactly where this is going. Because even though I don't remember the level all that well, I do remember what the boss of this area is. Okay. Is there X? Ah. Okay. What if one of the miners just jumped down? Aren't you worried about your friends being stuck to the wall? Good sir. Good, good sir. Okay, I wanted to roll, but apparently my character didn't feel like it. Ah, okay. I feel like that's a decapitation, but apparently it isn't. There we go. Okay, one measly hit. Not that bad. Let's just move on. And the spider webs are getting more and more ominous. I do love the effect, by the way. Because, uh, yeah, you didn't get this warning in the original game, I feel like. It wasn't this obvious, and if I recall correctly, this starts with like a big elevator ride, right? Oh, I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Big wheel? Yeah, so big wheel probably means, yeah, big elevator, okay. Is there anything that I can check up here before we go down the ominous huge ass elevator? There is an item over here, indeed. And that is also sent to storage, and it's the Chris Blade. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Probably not a weapon for a temple guard, but I'll take it. 
So, big ass elevator, one more item behind the handle here, and that is also gonna be sent, yeah, a spider stone shard. Probably to add poison damage, I would think. Um, now, I need to reevaluate my armor here, so... 9 to 12. Uh, we're gonna be checking out fire protection. Um, but I wanna have fire protection while I'm still, um, you know able to roll so the Myrdon gauntlets definitely yeah so the Myrdon set is definitely the way to go the old ragged boots really don't provide much protection um i'm not exactly sure if i need a shield what does that can i swap out no was hoping by maybe getting rid of the shield i might get Ooh, but the officials officials gloves actually provide rather a lot of fire protection I actually want to swap over to the gauntlets. And then the biggest move over is the Murden Greaves. I'm going to put the shield back on, I think. Unless... No, with the armor, I'm still below as well. I actually left the Murden armis, armor in uh, Stockpile Thomas's inventory. So I'm going to have to go with the shield here. The fire protection was the same, so it doesn't really care. Because uh, the shield only blocks 70% of fire damage. So this should actually be pretty good against the um, the monstrosity that we're about to face with 2,900 souls in the bank. This might hurt, but here we go. Let's equip the half moon grass to be able to heal a bit more than just with the uh, crescent moon grass. And I don't know if the pulse is actually close to the elevator because I'm I'm distinctly remembering. Oh no. Okay. No. 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 Never mind. Never mind. We're exactly where I thought we were going to be. Right into the boss fights. Okay, there's one more item over there, but I don't want to die to get this item. And I don't know if I can trust this little tunnel. Okay, we can grab this um, and it goes... Another spider stone chunk this time. Okay, um, you know what? With that weight difference, can we actually go... We can go for the halberd, so we're definitely going to need that extra damage. We can roll... We can go. Okay, here goes nothing. I don't know. This might be my first official death. Armor spider. There we go. So this guy is gonna try and hit me from afar with fireballs and and slow down stuff. If I get hit with that, I actually don't want to roll. So I'm gonna try and block it with the shield as long as I'm... Jesus. I do love the music though. Uh... Okay, and now we're underneath it. Damn it. Okay, now we're getting there. Wow, it actually just hit like a tank there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know that attack. Unlock. Roll. Whoa. So that, yeah, that fills the entire tunnel. There we go. And I think I'm... Okay, I'm not dead. But I might be really soon. It's really hard to see whether I'm actually getting uh, hit or not. Okay, yeah. It's doing that again. That is annoying. Okay. So it's gonna try and kill me in the tunnel again. Ooh, I need to get into the flow of this battle. I don't think it's just trying to hit. There we go. Okay. So that's that attack. And I think I just dodged that. There we go. Block that. Block that. Oh, that... That rumble for the... Uh, Go. It actually only does like two attacks for this. I 
think this might be a bit. Okay, it's doing the oil, oil thing again, so let's move backwards. Let's move backwards all the way back to the tunnel. Whew. Okay. Nothing too problematic yet. That was that was very impressive. Ah, and it hit me there. I'm gonna have to be careful. I think I'm out of the way, so there we go. Double slash in the middle, two-handed. And now we can block that. And that's that. Oh, that might have been a bit too much. Yeah, okay. Well. Oh, oh damn it, I misled that. Oh, oil again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I think we got the rhythm down. We just have to uh, hit it in between attacks. I could heal up that little bit of damage, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Ah, but that is going to make a difference. Now, of course, I can all. Ah, but that has actually removed. I should shut up. So there we go. That's the middle attack. Almost down. Ah, it's doing the oil again. God damn it, I thought I almost had it. Let's move back. Detach, unlock, back to the tunnel, and then for the final assault, try and get it down. But it took a load of my healing items. Let's torch the fireball. Let's get rid of the spidey thingy. And then grab that fireball to the face. That's another block. Is it gonna do the... Yeah, that's the center one. Okay, there we go. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Armor spider completed. That was actually pretty quickly. So there we go. We killed the armored spider. Ha! Ah. That's a bit of a weight off my shoulders. It's not the hardest boss battle in the world, but still, it had me kind of worried. I love the, the the lair of it as well. Just yeah, combining the spider with the fact that it's now armored because it's been living in a, in a mine is really, really cool. Can I actually grab that item over here? I can, you know, another warrior soul. That is that. I'm assuming the armored uh, spider soul will not have anything else to say. It's also right above a pit of lava. Ah, oh. and of course we're, yeah, that's the next spot that we need to go to. Let's grab this item over here. That's another spider stone thingy. And now we can touch the arch stone, because for that we get the hard demon soul. And a pure spider stone apparently as well, that needs to go to stockpile Thomas. So, let's touch the arch stone and go, actually go back to, no, let's go back to the Nexus first. First things first, let's go back to the Nexus to level up. So a few interesting items that we picked up along the way but sent to storage. The Chris Blade, a small ceremonial straight sword etched with numerous ancient runes. This sword serves as a catalyst in occult rituals, amplifies the damage dealt and received by magic. Hmm. So that is, yeah, we got magical attack. It's minus 50 for me. Um, that is interesting, but it's plus two on probably, yeah, just the strength and dexterity scaling. But yeah, B scaling on magic, but because I can't use it, I need 16 magic to actually use this thing. Um, that's, yeah, not gonna fly. So the other thing we picked up was the gold coin, and that says a shiny magical relic crushing the coin boosts luck for a small period of time. The engraving has faded over time beyond the point of recognition. So that's an item that actually um, is continued in its usage in Dark Souls, if I'm not mistaken. I've actually never talked about the officials gear, which is definitely very interesting. Fat ministers who appeared just before demons ran rampant in Boletaria and ingratiated themselves with King Alant, oppressed the masses with sly grins. This uniform is said to have been resented by the masses as a hateful reminder of them. So uh, that's actually giving us a little bit of lore about those ministers, the fat officials, that they appeared right before the demons, hinting at their link to those demons and they might have convinced King Alant 
to uh, side with the demons or at least experiment with the soul arts. So that was my little trip to stockpile Thomas. I might actually have a little chat with a crestfallen warrior. He seems to be in pain. Have you met the last surviving monumental? Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. So there we go. Seems like the Monumentals were the ones that actually revived the old one again to try and put a stop to this permanently, but that kind of backfired and I don't want us to stop things. Um, um, where's the maiden black? Where is she? Ah, there she is. Why is she over here? Hello? So, 8,800 souls, that should allow us to at least have three levels. Strength, we definitely need more strength, but I want to have a few souls left to upgrade our weaponry. Um, let's put one more point into Vitality, and I feel like we haven't been using Fate, because there's no real reason for us to use Fate. Um, I feel like I might have made a mistake a, a little bit by starting with the Temple Guard. But um, I'll try to find more uses for it. I haven't actually gotten uh, any extra miracles just yet. So it's just the healing and I keep forgetting to use the healing. Um, but yeah, let's just put one point into vitality and two points into strength. There we go. So that's most of our souls gone. But we still have a few of those consumable souls. So weapon upgrade wise, I'm kind of a little bit torn. Um, we don't have a really good strength scaling weapon just yet. Aside from maybe the club. Um, but the club seems like a really weird weapon to use. Although, let me take a look. So, this is actually a thing I can do. I don't have the shield anymore, but this allows me to just be able to roll still. I'm at 46.6% now. Um, with the shield, I'm just over, so I'm at 53%. But with a few extra points in endurance, I might actually be able to make that work. So I need three more points in Endurance if I want to be able to do that. Um, but I don't have the souls for that right now, I think I might. I'm actually going to pop all my souls. Always be careful not to actually pop my uh, my actual Demon Souls. You can actually check that out. Yeah, there's nothing spectacular about that. Aside from the fact that the soul kind of looks like a spider. But nevertheless, we can't really do anything with that just yet. But uh, I think I can eke out just one more level out of that. Yeah. So let's pop in, uh, so what was I saying, endurance, so that puts us to 48 equip burn, confirm that, and as you might have seen, I also have the uh, blue eye quiris on right now, so there we go. I actually also don't know how slow this weapon hits. It's actually not too much, but there's a long pause afterwards, it doesn't seem like I can... I can do anything afterwards, it's just whack, and that's it. I can double wield it. Ah, and that actually does look a bit more like a combo, and that probably, yeah, overhead slash. And then this is just a single one. Yeah, but there seems to be no combos at all. Okay, and I can't upgrade this thing. Or that might just be because I can't upgrade it now? Hmm. I mean, this does fit our playstyle a little bit. Let's just dump a few more things I'm at Stockpile Thomas. Sword. So I left the Halbert, uh, not the Halbert, the Bastard Sword with Stockpile Thomas. So that's the only thing that we don't really have at the moment. But the last thing I wanted to do was take a little look at that elevator we unlocked. Because you can hear it rolling around right now. Um, I haven't killed myself yet, so that might be a problem. But let's just slowly use the elevator and not do anything rash. There is another item over there, I saw that, but again, I just said we're not going to do anything rash, so... Let's just slowly go down the elevator. There we go, and if we go up, uh, down here, we can talk to the second blacksmith, which, yeah, who strikes a, a very good resemblance to Baldwin, so have, let's have a little chat with him. Uh, I haven't seen you in these parts. Uh, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith. Show me your steel. If not, head straight for the door. 
So, uh, Blacksmith Ed, let's have a little chat with him. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it and alters its character. Ores are transmogrified spirits. Their presence blesses the weapon. He talked a lot for somebody who didn't want to chit chat. Let's. I want to see. Can I upgrade my. No, I can't. I can't upgrade my great club with you either. That is weird. Um, I don't know. I will have to look that up why I can't upgrade that. Uh, let's repair equipment as well. I haven't done that, although. Wait a second. Can I talk further with you? Demon souls. They're like powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. But doing so requires a powerful flame, invigorated by a demon soul in scorching heat. Ah, okay, now I remember. So we need the demon soul of the next boss in this area. So not the armored spider, but the next one. And now we can actually make uh, weapons from demon souls, which is very, very cool indeed. Let's upgrade, well, repair our equipment. So that was definitely necessary. 300 souls, so those were, uh, yeah, very well damaged. Um, and then, yeah, I can't really do anything else. Okay, I thought I was going to be able to do something here, but apparently not. Okay, I add. See you soon. Let's just hop on top of the elevator again. Uh, I mean, I'm a bit on edge because I'm still in. Ah, uh, that was that was the way I wanted to go out. Um, I'm still going up. Should, and I think, yeah, I can't really get off now, can I? I'm gonna have to make another roll. Okay, see you in a second. Oh wait, there's actually, wait. Oh, I totally missed the fact that there's like a way outside here. Um, is that? That sounded like something dropped, but let's grab this. Another renowned hero soul. Not gonna be spending that just yet because we're at a good, uh, a good tempo now. Let's get on top of the elevator. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get on top of the elevator. Oh, that was not... The elevator was a bit weird, but I, I mean, my experience with elevators is, is not well at the moment. Okay, let's go back to the Nexus. So I'm really hesitating what to do next. We'll probably do another first level of a world. But I'm kind of hesitating whether I should go over there or over there. It will depend. I'm going to... Yeah, decide that in the beginning of the next episode. I'm going to take a little break because I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, our third episode in Demon Souls, where we beat up the armored spider. Um, well, more it beating us up, but we managed to kill it. I do love that our character's eyes are glowing in the dark there. But uh, yeah, next time I'm going to try to face more demons with this club, but I feel like I might have overestimated the power of this weapon because it's just... Yeah, I think it's doing 160 right now compared to the 120 of the Halberd and it can't combo anything. So I might just be better off just upgrading the Halberd one more level and just dealing with that. But see you guys next time. Thank you guys enormously for watching and goodbye. Stay nutty.